people are cruel and they don't care. Mm. And she's just having to figure it out and also watch people not care that she's gone and realize she didn't really make an impact. I'm obsessed with school spirit so far. I need to find out what happened to Maddie. Uh, so I appreciate oh, you taking the time. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so right off the bat, you know, we've got Maddie in the afterlife trying to figure out what happened to her. Peyton, can you tease a little bit of the journey that she's going to go on? Insane what a journey it is considering it's all in a high school. Um, yeah. But she's stuck in this purgatory and she just has to witness everyone else moving on after she's died and she hasn't moved on and it's you know people are cruel and they don't care mm. and she's just having to figure it out and also watch people not care that she's gone and realize she didn't really make an impact mm. <laughs> oh, that's so mm. sad that is sad i mean sarah and nick you guys are both on the other side you're in the afterlife, you're in the support group with Maddie. Tell me a little bit about the dynamic that's going on in the afterlife and, and how they influence Maddie on her search for the truth. Yeah, well, it's interesting because we are on the other side of it. Um, so we're less concerned about, you know, the who done it of it all. We want to help Maddie as, and that is part of her journey. So then we do help her with that. But at first, initially, we're like, this is where you're at. Like, this is how it works. This is what we do here. And we also are totally on our own. Our own journeys of kind of how we've sort of coped with being stuck there. And I've been there 60 years and you've been there, what? 27. 27 years. And, you know, I've been there so long. I'm like, I don't actually care about finding out, like figuring anything out. I am stuck. And I've just accepted that as my lot in afterlife. Yeah. And you have a more optimistic take, I think on it. Yeah. But, um, we're definitely not at first involved or I'm definitely not concerned with figuring out how this little one died. I'm like, welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah. um, like, Literally, I don't care. You do say that. Yeah, I do say it. <laughs> I do say that. Mm -hmm. sure. Well, and tell me a little bit about those afterlife support group scenes, because Milo said that they were like the most fun parts to film. Those were so fun. Which you wouldn't think. You would not think that those were the most fun scenes. And when we would do those scenes, the almost like the whole day would would be those well, scenes. Well, we shot them all in like four, like the first two episodes, we shot those those scenes in like three or four days, just back to back. Yeah, so it was like the whole day we knew we'd get to be in the circle. And then some of the scenes like are a little bit heavier, some are just really funny. Mm -hmm. um, For me, I still care about knowing what happened to me and, um, and Maddie's coming in with different energy, coming from different places all the time, trying to figure these things out. So sometimes I would have to separate because I would have way too much fun yeah. if I was in the room with them. And like, there's just yeah. so much joy in that room that I would have to walk away and separate because we all were in such different places. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, those, yeah, were, Maddie, those were really fun. Too fun. Yeah. Maddie's coming in with revelations that, you know, we'll get into later in the season and, and there's discussions about donuts. Uh, how yeah. was it? playing off of each other in those moments where you were all coming at each other from a very different perspective, but all dealing with the same thing. It was, I mean, um, yeah, too much fun. Sometimes too much. We <laughs> ruined takes often by the end um, because we were laughing too hard. So I had to try to not laugh and that was hard. They gave us a lot of liberties as well. Um, with uh if we wanted to add a line here or there or a button or improv or something and then there were a couple of times specifically in that donut eating scene where we um we went we, we went long. a little too long yeah. and they were like they okay, cut it, just, which is fine yeah they were like okay just for time let's try one where we just end the scene where it, it's supposed to <laughs> we were like and then the line ends there and then we do 10 minutes back we and forth added a fight yeah we did it was good though <laughs> with with milo they would just the improv and make the scene something completely different yeah and max was like and how about we cut that you yeah, know, yeah, whoever, yeah. and none of that. <laughs> we release the extended cut. That's what I say. That's, <laughs> we release we're trying, it. We're try, that's we want we, the yes. bloopers. There yeah. was a scene we ruined, and I want to see those bloopers. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm starting the official petition for it now. Um, and, and I'm super excited for everyone else to see the rest of School Spirit. So thank you so much for your time today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Mm -hmm.